Hey guys, it's Milan with Quick Reference, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a picker view as the input for your text field. So here we have a text field, uh, and currently it's just your standard keyboard that is shown. In the main storyboard, I've set up the text field, and I've linked it to the view controller uh, right here, text field. So the first thing you want to do is actually make your class, your view controller, conform to the picker views uh, uh, delegate and data source. So just over here, you can just put uh, UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegate. Next thing you want to do is hold command and click UI picker view delegate. And you want to grab these two functions right over here in uh, actually in the data source. So you could have actually clicked data source as well. You want to go back into your view controller and just paste them right underneath your view did load or anywhere else for that matter. Uh, create them, uh, give them brackets. Uh, in the first one, number of components in picker view, you want to actually just before that we can actually create our, our data array. And in here, this is basically just everything that's going to be in your picker view. So I'm just going to say one, two, and three just like that and for the number of components in picker view that's uh it's up to you but i'm just going to say i mean if you're looking at this video you you probably already know what you're going to be putting in it so i'm going to leave that up to you but this is the way i'm going to be doing it for example purposes and then in number of rows and components you're just going to return data.count <coughs> sorry and to this, you're just going to add two extra functions. Um, you're going to add did select row, and here you're just going to say text field dot text equals data at row, so that every time they select a row in the picker view, the text pops up in your text field. And there's one more that I title title for row. That's the one. And here you're going to return. I keep misspelling that return data at row. That's going to be the title for each row. Okay, so now that you have that, you want to create your picker. UI picker view and instantiate it. Now in your view did load, you're going to say picker dot delegate equals self because we are inheriting from UA picker view delegate as you can see and picker data source equals self as well then now this is the important part this is where you're hooking up your text field to your picker view so what you're going to say is text field dot input view equals the picker object you made right that should be that uh give me a moment let me run it I'm running it on the iPhone 4S simulator because it generally starts up fast and I am running on a Mac Mini here and uh, it will fit within the bounds of the screen so um, give that a moment just got a Cherry MX blue switch keyboard so if that's loud <laughs> I apologize but bear with me okay let's try it out and there you go there's your picker view and as you can see, when we go and select one, it pops up into our, into our little box there, to our text field. Okay, so that's that. Um, all the code is going to be in a, in a paste bin in the description. Thank you very much for watching.